Hi. In this video, we're going to detail unpacking and assembling your Multilab 2CP system. This will come in three boxes as shown. The bottom box contains the cart. The medium-sized box contains the Multilab 2CP console and the accessories. And then the printer comes in its own box. First of all, we're going to talk about the tools you're going to need to assemble your system. You'll need a Phillips head screwdriver, a socket wrench, and two sockets, 10 millimeter and 7 sixteenths. A scissors or box knife are also handy for cutting open the boxes. Let's start with the box holding the console. And the system itself is in here the secure packaging material. Remove the foam and pull out your system by the handle. The second part of unboxing and putting together your Multilab 2CP system is the box that has the accessories. I will also give you an inventory of the accessories that you will see when packing, unpacking your system. You're going to have your pressure cuffs of different sizes depending on which set of cuffs that you ordered. You're going to have a printer cable. You're going to have two PPG sensors, right and left. You're going to have one Doppler cable, one remote control with batteries, a multiple cuff selector, an extra power cable for taking your system portable, Doppler holder, gel holder, two Doppler probes, five megahertz, and eight megahertz, an operator's manual with an educational booklet for CME credits, two valves for using your digit cuffs for toe pressures, portable keyboard with trackball, and a supply of paper for your printer. The next part of the process is to remove the cart from its box and to assemble the cart. The cart is in several pieces inside this large box. The first part of the cart is in this top box. And this is the top of the cart, which I will open. Pull out the protective foam packing. And then set this piece off to the side. The cart itself is the heaviest part. So use caution when lifting it. If you're not a strong person, you may want to enlist the help of someone else. One more part which is the adjustable height pole that is in the bottom of this. This is the adjustable pole. In the next portion of the video, I'll detail assembling the three pieces. Put this together on the floor. There's a number of 7 16th bolts that are already pre-fastened to the underside of the top of the cart. I set these aside. Now there's two ways that this can go. You'll see on the flange, it's almost like an upside down T. This, page, this part here, which also has the height adjustment on there, goes facing the handle of the system. And you'll notice the bolt hole patterns will line up correctly when you do this. And what you do is simply put those in one by one. And the easiest way to do this is to put them in loosely. If you put one in and tighten it all the way down, it's going to make aligning the last one very difficult. So just put them in with a couple of turns of your finger. Now these have sort of a PEM setting that keeps them into the uh, material that we use for this. You do not want to over tighten these. And when I can't tighten it anymore, that's going to be tight enough. If you hold your wrench from over here, you can very easily over tighten this and break these off into the top assembly. The next step of the assembly process is to take the top and the height adjustable pole and mount it in the base of the cart. Now the front of the cart is this place here where you see this little cutout. In this cutout would go your uninterrupted power supply. It's optional. The first thing you want to do is to remove these screws from the now the top will be the bottom of the pole and the washers. Set these aside. So pick this up carefully, 
and again is going to go and that is the part with the adjustable knob and gently put that in and then with small movements position until you find the holes. Once the cart top and pole are mated to the bottom part of the cart you'll see the small screws protruding through here. Put your washers on and then your bolts and then change to your 10 millimeter socket. Again, do not over tighten these. And while I'm down here, I'm going to talk about the height adjustment mechanism. This black knob on the front of the pole, if loosened, will allow extension of about 10 inches. If you have a shorter user, push that down, tighten it, and you're good to go. Now that we have our cart completely assembled, it's time to install the Multilab 2 CP unit and the accessories. I like to start by putting the keyboard on first because the keyboard tray has a little slot that runs underneath the Multilab console itself. What I like to do is to run the connectors and then down the hole in the back of the system. After that's done, what you want to do is note the mounting brackets on the sides of your Multilab 2 CP. You have mounting holes, so you want to pull these out, align them with the mounting assembly, and snap into place. After the keyboard and console are installed, I like to take my multi-port cuff selector and put that in position. Remove it from its plastic and note that the cart has a indent for locating your cuff selector out of harm's way. On the side of your cart, you'll also notice there's a handle on top of your cuff selector. This will fit perfectly into that slot. Keep it ready to use. And I'm going to take this opportunity to install the remote control batteries. The remote control has an access panel in the back. Simply slide that off with your thumb, insert the two supplied AAA batteries, and then slide the cover back on. This has a magnet on it so you can store it. Your Doppler probes are right here, five and the eight. There's also a little place on the cart for your bottle of gel. You put it right down there, ready to go. After this, we're going to talk about connecting the accessories. I'll now install the rest of the accessories. Starting with your multi-port cuff selector, a holder perfectly the shape cuff selector. Put that into place. The cart has a place to put your bottle of gel. Set it upside down like that. Our remote control. It comes with two AAA batteries. This device right here is the electric eye that the remote control is going to beam to. I'm going to get my Doppler cable, my Doppler probes, my PPG sensors, and then we'll talk about installing these accessories. This portion of the video is going to focus on the back panel connection of your Multilab 2 CP. Starting from the right side, we've got an external monitor port. You can run an external video monitor to that. The keyboard connects there. This is where your internet or your DICOM connection would go. We have two USB ports. One is for your printer. One can be for your flash drive. And then as we pan to the left, we'll see that we have our power cable connection and the first left up of that is going are to be on our switch AC which will go right into this slot make sure you plug that in firmly printer USB I'm going to connect that take my USB drive and then I'm going to take my keyboard connection right here 
Installing the printer on your Multilab 2CP system is very simple. Simply place the printer on the tray in the lower part of the cart and then install the USB printer connection here and then the power connector to the printer here. We're now going to focus on the front panel connections on your Multilab 2CP system. It's a good idea to remove the keyboard first and set it out of the way. Moving from right to left, you'll see the first connection is for the Doppler, then the left PPG sensor, and the right PPG sensor. I'm going to go in order, and with the Doppler uh, connector here, you'll notice that it has two ends. One is a metal end, and the other is a plastic end. This plastic end goes into the Doppler probe itself. So take the metal end, which is a LIMO connector, and you'll notice that there is a red dot on the connector itself. Line that up with the red dot at the top of that connector and push straight in. We have the left PPG connector. We're going to line that red dot right up there with that red dot, put it into place, and push straight in. Next up we have the right PPG connector. We're going to line that one up again with the red dot in the 12 o'clock position and push that straight in. And over here, you'll see that there's a airport right, rather left and right. That is the left hose. Plug this in until you hear a click. Same thing with the right. But these do not go in easily. There's a tab on top. Press that down. And then when you press that